Hi, I'm Bruce from s and Cycle, and this is the fourth video in our series, No Guts to Glory, about hot riding an 883 Harley-Davidson Sportster motorcycle. This is the final video in the series, and it's just for you power junkies. We're going to show you the most powerful package of bolt-together parts we offer for the Sportster line. When we're done, we'll have more than doubled the stock horsepower of this bike all without splitting the cases, balancing the flywheels, or even taking the engine out of the frame. The first part of this package is the s, &S 1250cc conversion kit. Like the 1200cc kit, it's a cylinder and piston kit that simply bolts into the stock crankcases like a stock top end rebuild, with no modifications or machining. But the engine ends up at 1250cc when you're done. Another component of this package is having your stock cylinder heads CNC ported by s, &S. You can have your s, s dealer send your heads to s, s and we'll CNC port them and send them right back. Now we did say no machining, and this could be considered machining, but the good news is that you don't have to do it. Part of the CNC porting package is bigger valves and higher lift springs, and for this project we opted for the s, &S 650 lift valve springs. That's because we're also installing a set of s, &S 600 cams. Again, strictly speaking, these aren't bolt-in cams, but with these CNC ported heads with the 650 lift springs, it's not a problem. Of course, any time we install a new set of cams, we install new tappets. For this beast, we've chosen s, &S Premium tappets because of the high lift cams and the performance valve strings. These tappets can take the G's. Just like in the previous videos, we're calibrating the EFI system by loading a calibration file that you can download free from the s, s website into the stock EFI module using the DynoJet PowerVision tuner. It's done in a matter of minutes. With the engine back together and tuned, it's back to the dyno to see how much power we have. Okay. We're going to go ahead and talk about our four step. It includes a 1250 big board kit, a CNC head package, and a 600 lift s and cam. Uh, the CNC heads do offer up to 650 lift valve springs, so high lift cams are not a problem. Now this is a step that you would have to decide at step two instead of going with the conventional 883 to 1200 conversion kit, you go right to the 1250 big bore kit. And with the CNC heads we got bigger valves, bigger lift for the springs, and we can run whatever cam we want basically. Going back and looking at the dyno graphs once again, we have on here our baseline and our step three. And we're going to go ahead and look at the step 4 and add that in. And this is with the 1250 big bore kit, the CNC heads, and the 600 lift cam. Of course, this isn't a low end torque cam either. This is for the high end horsepower. And look up here, we're about 95, getting close to 100 horsepower. So you've had a chance to ride your bike with the 1250cc kit. What do you think? I mean, it just you don't you don't slow down. I mean, it feels like you're in second gear and you're you look down and you're doing 80. I mean, it's just the the amount of power you still have and the responsiveness out of the throttle. I mean, versus like being in the you know when you're up in the high speeds and you, and you hit it, you're not expecting to to climb that fast. My speedometer is kind of like I mean, it was it was almost like I was jumping. It was just, it wasn't really slowing down at all on a pickup of speed. I believe it was Lord Acton who said that power corrupts. Has having all this power affected the way you ride? Are you more aggressive? <laughs> I, I passed somebody um, right where the road ends. I turned around and she got, she went in front of me. I'm like, well, that, that won't last long. <laughs> you initially told us that this bike was such a slug that you didn't ride it much. How about now with nearly 100 horsepower to play with? Oh yeah, definitely. It's gonna, it's bringing back the adrenaline. I mean, it's actually the point where it's got enough power, it's got enough speed where it's actually exciting riding it versus just getting from point A to point B on a motorcycle, which it was that before. That's why I didn't put too many miles on it. If it wasn't fun, we probably wouldn't ride motorcycles. Has the extra horsepower made this bike more fun? Uh, it's just, um, amazing from coming from just the, the boring old slow slug of a bike that it was to to the amazing speed that we can get out of it now. I mean, it's it turned it into just a bike to a fun bike to ride. Motorcycle riders are extremely conscious of how their bikes look. What we've done really doesn't show very much. Are you okay with that? Um, well, 
it's uh, it's uh, you know it's the fun part about this is it looks the same, and so that's going to be the fun part where you're going to be able to uh, someone's going to show look at your bike and be like oh you know a few modifications but it's, it's got a lot of power. Well, Ryan, this is the biggest package we have that doesn't involve major engine work. By that, we mean that we don't have to split the cases or machine anything. If we came up with some more bolt-in horsepower, would you go for that, or have you had enough? I'd say bring it on. <laughs> Might need to upgrade the brakes. <laughs> I use them more. <laughs>